Hello everyone, and we'd like to welcome you here in our home today for Cooking with the Word. I'm Mike, and this is Jessica. And today uh, is a glorious day. It's a day that the Lord has made. Uh, we got to spend the day together, and, and uh, it's, it's a good time when you can think about Jesus and talk about Jesus and lift up his name. And it's a glorious time. You know, God is good. And we, we so much appreciate this opportunity to come into your homes, from our home, yes. and uh, cook with you, talk with you, preach with you, and lift up, the most important part, lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Is it, hey, guess what we got today? We've been aging some bananas for a week or ten days. It's been a while, it's hasn't it? It's been a while. And they're about ready. Uh you know, if you can't cook a banana and make banana nut bread until it's time. Right, yeah. But guess what? I think it's time. So today we're going to make some good old-fashioned banana nut bread. And wow, it's so good. And uh, But would you stay tuned with us today? And we'll talk you through it. Let you know just exactly how to put it all together from everything from scratch. Yeah. It's so easy and so simple, but yet so delicious. Stay with us if you would. Cooking with the Word. Okay, we're going to start out with one and three quarter cups of bread flour, all purpose bread flour. We use King Arthur. We try to get the best ingredients that we can when we cook. We use a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. Sprinkle that in. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And today we're going to add a half a cup of pecans. Now you can use walnuts, pecans. We just happen to have pecans today, so, so that's what we're going to use. We've kind of crushed them up a little bit, made them smaller. Put those in there. And we've got to whisk this together. Get this all mixed up together here. So incorporate the baking soda, the salt, the cinnamon, and everything together. And the uh, pecans will kind of work it through and help that out. All mixed in together. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom good and just lift it up. Kind of changing the color of the flour with the uh, cinnamon in it. Okay, that should be good. Now okay, we're just going to kind of push this to the side in a separate bowl. We're going to add four very ripened bananas. The riper, the better. Don't be afraid. Got some spots and stuff. That's nothing wrong with that. We're going to use four. You can use five if you want to, but we're going to use four today. They smell good. We want to just kind of chop these just a little. Not a lot because they're going to fall to pieces anyway. I don't want to do too much to them. Jessica has got on dirty water hot dogs. And those, man, we made those on a different video. They are so good. We can't wait to try them again and again and again. Because we, we want chunks of bananas, so we don't want to chop them up too much. We're going to add a, a one stick or a half a cup of butter melted. Get all along in there good. And we're going to add almost a cup. Now we usually try three quarters. I want just a little more brown sugar in it. So we're going to do almost a full cup of brown sugar. And we just want to turn this now. We don't want to mix this with no mixer. Don't use a mixer. Let's kind of, kind of turn this and incorporate it in with the butter. Get it all in there good. Okay, we're going to add one teaspoon vanilla extract. Not artificial vanilla flavoring, nothing like that, but actual vanilla extract. That I'll add it in there. And we want to just turn this just a little. See our brown sugar is getting wet. Got 
Now I'll turn it in. That looks good, don't it? Have vanilla in there, good. Mix it up a little bit. We don't want one bite to be good, the next one not have it. it smells good, Jessica. Is that what it said, Jessica? It smells good. It does sound, smell good. Smell the vanilla. Smell the vanilla. Smell the, the brown sugar. And we want to bring this original bowl back. Don't want to use that. We want to just put this in here. Cut all this in. I love those spatulas that you can use. They kind of just mold to the glass when you're breaking everything out. You don't miss much. When I was a kid, I would be sad on these because there wouldn't be much left in the bowl. And I always liked to lift the bowls when Mom made cakes and stuff. And this gets about everything out of it. Oh, they're good. Now, we want to turn this. You don't want to mix it. You want to just turn it. Just turn it over. Just enough to get the flour wet. Once the flour is wet, you're done. We got our oven set on 350. Get all that turned in. We have a loaf pan ready to pour this in. Actually today, let's do this. Let's make a bunch of mini loaves today. Let's make about six mini loaves today. That's what we'll do. Six. And we got we got several friends that like these and we make them for them. It pleases us to make other people happy. And uh, so we try to make them for anybody asks for them, we'll try to make them for them. Get all this turned in. Got to go to the bottom. Okay, we still got chunks of bananas. We want to make sure we keep those in there. Get around off the sides. Now I'm going to add two eggs into this. I'm going to mix these two eggs in. Okay, we'll get these. We've got these all mixed up. We're going to pour these in. It's going to be the last thing that we mix into it. I'm just going to turn these into it now. It's making a beautiful batter. So Jessica batters up, but I'm afraid she might hit me with something, a ball or something, or a bat. Look at that, it's looking good. Get it all mixed in together. Okay, we're going to take, see we still got chunks of bananas in there, it's good. We'll take a cup of this, half a cup. At a time. Kind of just even it out. We're going to do six of these like this. Okay, just remember we're doing one cup. So this is a half a cup I'm using here. And one cup in each mini loaf. Oh, then you want to even it out inside here. And we're using baking soda, so there's no rising time for this. So we want to get this exactly right when we put it in here. And we'll do six of these. Okay, we got six ready. Six loaves. They're all pretty close to even. We put around a cup of batter in each one. So we got about six cups of batter. So we're going to throw these in the oven. And at 350, and when we get done, we'll tell you how long it took. Okay, we're fresh out of the oven. Look at this. You see, you still see some of the chunks of banana in there. So you know that's going to be good. That looks good, don't it? Let's get out and let them start cooling. Okay, the only thing we use to 
Tsuga grease the pan, we just sprayed some olive oil in it. And we actually pressed, if you see, we pressed a few of the uh, pecans on top. Let's just watch this. That comes out perfect. Look at that. And you can tell how moist it is. Let's get a look at a couple others. Let that cool there on the cooling rack. Try this one. This pops right out. And the chunks of bananas. That's the way we like them here. You don't have to do it that way, but here at our house, we like the chunks of bananas. This comes right out. No sticking. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. These are going to be super moist, super delicious. We're going to bless a few people with these tomorrow. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, if you would, reach up there if you're on YouTube and push that like button. It really helps us out. If you will follow us, we try to do a video at least once a week, something new that we can cook. We got stuff coming up like West Virginia Regional Pepperoni Rolls different things and if you look back in our uh, archives you'll see all types of different breads uh, Blackstone Grill, preaching, singing, adventures in the mountains, uh, different locations that we travel to in our uh, YouTube on our YouTube channel but if you get an opportunity please like this uh, whatever you do lift up the name of Jesus serve him with all your heart mind soul and strength Hey folks, just as a bonus, one of my sons has a nut allergy, so I made him one, and it's a good size one. It's a full, full loaf pan. I made him one with a cup of vanilla chips instead of of the nuts. I want you. To, I just want to take a chance. I want you to look at that. I mean, is that not delicious looking? Okay, let's see if we can get this out. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Well, that's heavy. What do you think about that? Get a good close up look. Those chips just glistening on top. We put a few extra on top, but then we got about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup down inside of it. We baked this for one hour, this large loaf. This is the same amount of batter as in the uh, six smaller loaves. We use a larger loaf pan. This is going to be extremely moist and just a, a very good natural sweetness from the bananas, the brown sugar. It's just, it's going to be amazing. Trust me, it's going to be good. Okay, let's slice this. Let's see what size do I want. About there, and no, that's probably too much. Let's go about right here. Oh, look at that. What y'all think? Does that look good? Those chunks of bananas. Oh, it looks good. Let's give it a taste. Okay, let's get a little bit off the side right here. that moist crumbly oh my gosh that is so good wow perfectly sweet mm -mm -mm. that is good right there please like this video and if, if uh Need prayer, there's a number on the screen if you're watching on New Beginning Network. Let me get another bite here. Mm. That brown sugar just brings out the flavor so much. The vanilla chips, everything, it just tastes absolutely great. Like us, share us. We'll see you next week. God bless y'all.